Yo! I have nothing to grip or rip, so don't even bother fucking asking. On the Lord's Day? On the day of Jesus Christ? Oh my god, why is that so fucking bright now? Let's turn that down to like a cool... Oh, I know. Zero! Boom, idiots! Fuck you! I don't want to know when you fucking at me over there! Fuck you! Boom! You thought you- you thought for a fucking second! Fuck you! Woo! But yeah, no, I've been playing Armored Core. I fucking really like it. Uh, people are, like, complaining about the story or whatever, but I mean, like, I feel like, um... I feel like I don't care about the plot at all. <laughs> so, like, who cares? Like, I- I mean, to be frank, I don't play any Souls games for the plot because Newsflash, dude. They've never been very good at them. Uh, they're really good at putting a lot of garbage into item descriptions, uh, but uh, I don't have time for that. Having a story that is present and being able to actually well, like, create a well-executed plot that is conveyed in an absorbable way to your audience are very different things, and uh, FromSoft has never been very good at that. The only one that really they were able to do anything with where I got it to some extent was Bloodborne. That's what Vadi is for. You shouldn't need someone. You should not need someone to tell you what the story of your fucking game is, even at the most basic level. It's really boosted by people like making videos and like fancy artsy fucking like retellings of it and like connecting the dots for you. But if you try to understand any of it as the person reading the real text in the video game, it is some of the most like jank, just terrible shit. Like there's not been a Souls game that's gone by where I haven't clicked like the open description button and read like the first box of text in the video game been like, I'm gonna do a lore through dude. I'm gonna read all the lore and by like description three. I've stopped opening all of them I don't touch a single fucking text box for the rest of the game It's just the Cimmerillion, but out of order and told to you in fortune cookies. Holy shit Holy shit insane comparison, but true chat message of the fucking week. What is peep though? That's none of your business and rude of you to ask he looks like jizz. First of all, language. <laughs> First of all, language. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's calm down. He's a he's a little cum like. What the fuck? Nope, nope. He looks like a trebum. Okay, that's what he fucking looks like. O M G. Yes, a cum chode. Am I gonna have to emote only mode this audience? Guys, I'm gonna be honest. I only know Peep visually. I have no idea what kind of person they're like when they talk. I don't know what Peep- Peep might be a real piece of shit. <laughs> My friends call me a himbo, and I still don't know what that means. <laughs> himbo comment. <laughs> real himbo moment. <laughs> Tomato wouldn't know what that is either, it's okay. What? I'll have you know whenever I hear any word come out of anyone's mouth that I don't recognize, I immediately look it up, because I'm not gonna be caught slipping. I'm not gonna be the one who's like, Dude, I'm down bad right now! When, like, I'm sad, okay? Like, I'm not that guy, all right? I know people who are that guy, I'm not that guy. Calling out Dave like that. Dave's never used down bad wrong. The only thing Dave's guilty of is attempting to bring back a derogatory term from the 40s to, de like, completely deplatform me, like, in 10 years. That's the only thing he's guilty of. <laughs> Taffer is right there. Time that person the fuck out. Get that person the fuck out of here. Holy shit. Where are all my gongoozlers at show yourself? What the fuck did you just say? Why is this in the Cambridge Dictionary? Gongoozler, UK informal, doesn't say anything about derogatory good start. Good start. We have one that doesn't lead with a fucking like actual warning. A person who enjoys watching boats and activities on canals. Oh, all right. Not a single person would be able to guess that's what a gone goozler is. Gone guzzler. <laughs> stop! Stop! Stop, 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 stop. Peep doesn't seem so bad anymore by comparison. We would have been safe with Peep. Crap, I can't believe I forgot my keys. I hope the boss doesn't mind if I slip into his office and get them. Orbo, hey, can you come over here? Oh, it's Peep. Hey. Orbo, thank God. I've been locked in here for five hours. Good to see you. Yeah, I- wait, what? What are you talking about? Yeah, there's been something wrong with the door opener. It keeps on making this loud grinding sound, and it stays shut even when I walk up to it. I think we need to manually open the door from the inside now, and I don't have hands. Crowdy face. 
And I just realized you don't either, so we're both stuck now. Crowdy face times three. Wait, wait, hold on. Are you serious? You got me walk all the way over here and tell me that? Why didn't you just tell me before I let it shut behind me? I didn't want it raise my voice. Bro. So how are we supposed to get out of the boss's office then? I know how we could get out. Check it out. Oh yeah, it's one of those prosthetic printers boss had me make. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Make a pair of awesome springy legs and bounce through the roof really hard? Yeah, no, no wait. What, what the heck? No, I, no, we just need to build an arm and use the door handle. Okay, sure. Uh, never mind my awesome plan. Let's just do whatever you want then. Okay, look, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I'm honestly... I'm kind of interested in exploring the office, you know? I don't feel like we, you know, really know the boss. I think this is what people call an adventure. In fact, when I write my really cool autobiography, Peeb's Biography, I'm gonna call this section Orbo's Adventure. Well, I mean, I'm gonna be going to all these separate worlds, so maybe it's kind of like an odyssey. No! You need a ship to have an odyssey. This is an adventure. Okay, Peep. All right, Peep. If only we could open this door until I get all the gear parts necessary to build myself a prosthetic arm, I'm not going to be able to leave. The product portal scattered around the office should have all the parts I need. Well, then I guess we got to get the hell out of here. Now that I can fucking fly. Oh! Oh! Okay, don't touch any water. Orbo can't handle normal water. Schlarp City. We're in Schlarp City now. Is that a fucking vampire? I don't like that fucking die. I don't like- I don't fucking like that fucking die, idiot. Die. I don't like that fucking die, alright? How about you go ahead and I'll see you in hell. Wow, look at this place. It's incredible. It's a whole freaking city. Full of people. We need your help slay five golden Draculas for a reward. There's an actual fucking hit on golden Draculas in Schlarp City. Locked on. Taking your dog for a walk, huh? Boom, idiot. Fuck you. You're free now. Peep. Ah, this place is so cool. I love the buildings. If they legally let me use my grapple, I'd be swinging all around. Smile, smile, smile. I really hate the cardboard cutouts, man. Like, I feel like they're watching me. You're the one running production schedules these days, right? How soon are they actually rolling this place out to the public? Just as soon as they kill all the Draculas, they're breathing in the walls! They're what? Yeah, I noticed that, but they're also just cardboard cutouts. Is it that hard just to throw them in a big pile and light it on fire? They're not just cardboard cutouts, you know. What? Smile. What? Peep? Peep what? Did you just fucking say? Okay, uh... Ah! Oh, there's a cog right there. One of five obtained! Wah! Yahoo! I need to slay more golden Draculas. Keep your eyes peeled for any golden Draculas. What the hell is this? Oh! Oh. That's a, that's a sad Orbo moment. I'm not too happy about that, chat. I'm sorry. Where's the golden vampire? If one of you three knows, I'll have you know you're about to fucking die. Boom, boom, boom. Get the fuck out of here. What the? What the fuck? What is this? Lightgeist IDZ909 alias Memory Grant. Special notes. Due to Memorygram's localized EMF manipulation, researchers must wear appropriate Class 3 PPE before entering, and electronic record devices are not authorized beyond this point. Description. Memorygram manifests as an enclosed space, taking on a form and function derived from activity in the Norosphere. Despite its ability to mimic man-made structures, it is clear the Zeitgeist does not understand the function of human architecture. Memorygram does not appear to be harmful in a direct sense, but should be noted that its ability to manipulate electromotive forces may cause bouts of short-term amnesia and psychosis during prolonged exposure to the zeitgeist. Memorygram is currently being used as an alverson gretzky junction to restrain perfect man. Please exercise caution when entering to conduct research and ensure you are partnered with a combat-ready poltergeist at all times. What the fuck is happening? Hi, I thought I was hanging out with Peep today. I was pretty convinced today was a Peep hangout day. 
Perfect man, perfect man, perfect man, perfect man. That's perfect man? Yeah, well, I, uh, really don't have anything to say to him. What is... Oh. Ow! Obol fragment infused? What the fuck is that? I don't like that. Ah! Oh! Jesus! Stop, 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 stop. Don't like it, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it, don't like it. I'm gonna go. Hey, man. Hey, man. He's- he is this direct- I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ah! Ah! Ah, he's got me! He's got me! Ah, uh, yes. I'm here now, inside the perfect man dimension. I'm gonna try to spin my way out of this. Oh, it worked. I've received a little- a little thing for where an arm would go. And the zone is done. Then I guess we'll uh, go to the, the next zone. Dunbar Mines. Damn, the movement in this game is just fucking fun. Boom, dude. Oh, babe, what are you doing in here? How did you? I work in mysterious ways, Orbo. Much like God, if you think about it. Smile. Anyway, what's with the mines? I mean, on paper, we don't really own or stock nuclear reactors, so I don't get what all this uranium is about. We're gonna make glow-in-the-dark paint. The boss is gonna love it when we're making billions of dollars, smile. Peep, are you kidding me? I've been trying to figure out why the hell our balance sheets have $12.1 million diverted to arts and crafts. What the hell's wrong with you? You're gonna kill people. What? No, they're just glowy rocks. I'm sure it's fine. We're gonna be rich, Orbo, and this'll be the best surprise the boss has ever seen. I'm not changing my mind, Orbo. We're gonna sell glowy paint, and that's final. Okay, peep, chill. I don't care what kind of sunk cost fa fallacy crap you're on right now. This violates so many health codes. Shut up! Ah! Okay, peep. Have it your way. Time trial, let's fucking go. Boom, boom. 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 I fucked it. I fucked it again. It's over. No, I got it. Boom, dude! No, that was really fast. What the fuck is this? Oh, thank God, an actual poor person. I, I need help. My friend and I are locked inside the main office. Can you please come back and open the door for us? Oh, <laughs> what do we have here? A lost employee? Well, I'm sorry, my boy, but I'm afraid I, too, am trapped. You see, once you get promoted above a certain level in the company, you get an implant put above your brainstem that'll detonate if you try to leave your designated area. So I cannot leave the mines, my boy. God, this company sucks. Quite right, my boy. <laughs> I don't believe I've introduced myself. My name is Bunston Scone. Good fucking name. Good fucking name. Good fucking name, devs. Good fucking name. Dude, two for one, bro. Two for one. Huge, dude. We finished the zone. But where's the secret? Because I get the weird feeling there's a secret. What the hell's that? You're not gonna fucking do it. There, you're not. You're not gonna fucking do it. Oh, Jesus. I'm arise. We're almost done here, chat. Just need one more arm part from the final zone. Let's get out there. Is this game fun or is he doing a bit? I think the game's fun. Let me play him. I don't think it's fun. Oops. Mother of God. The fucking monolith. Hey, peep. Leave now. Ah, I forgot this area is really confidential. You aren't supposed to be here. What are you going to do about it? Oh, I can't believe you. You're not going to listen to your good friend, peep. You're not just going to turn around and walk out of here. Peep, look, we're trapped in the office and I'm trying to fix it. I don't care what's confidential. Well, can you at least close your eyes while you collect the gear parts in here? I don't want to get in trouble. I'm sorry. I don't want to get in trouble. I have a wife and kid. Wait, what? How did I never hear about this? You even keeping your personal life a secret? How well do I even know the real Peep? Is everything about you a lie then? It's not like that. I haven't really told anyone about it. I... Look. Orbo. My real name isn't Peep. 
I mean witness protection. <clears throat> you, what? Wh who are you then? No, I'm, I, Orbo. Tell me what's going on here, Peeb. Who are you really? What is this company actually doing? What's happening? I'm, I'm just lying. I, I didn't want you to press me anymore about super secret stuff the company is doing. <laughs> I don't have a wife or kid. And my name is actually Peep. I'm sorry. I'll stop asking. I'm sorry, Peep. I wasn't trying to make you cry, man. Can we just pretend this conversation never happened? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, good luck getting those gear parts, Orbo. Smile, 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 smile. Chad, I don't fucking trust Peep as far as I can fucking throw him. What is this? Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I solved it. Chat is frothing right now. There's no way you're not. He can't just get away with it like that. What the fuck? I've come to represent Everlast Liquidators. I wanted to know if I could speak to your boss. Uh, yeah, about that. The boss is like never here. Also, I'm locked in his office. Could you come and help me open the door? Ha, <laughs> poor creature. I'm a liquidator, not a door opener. But if you'd like, I'd be more than happy to liquidate that door for you for a price. Are you kidding me? How much do you even want? Huh, something to the tune of 6,000 American dollars. Does that sound good to you? Time is money, you know. Do you think I'm stupid or something? How hard is it for you to walk over and open a door? Time is money, kid, and frankly, I don't have any time to come and open the door. I'm in the verge of visualizing what 12 billion dollars would look like. So, move along now. You're getting into my headspace. Yeah, well, how about you fucking visualize this? Oh, that, that didn't kill you. Oops. Of course it did. You'd have to have, you'd have to have tough skin to be a liquidator. I had all of mine replaced with carbon nanoplates years ago, kid. It may have been an attempted murder, but I like your moxie, kid. When I get out of here, I'll put in a good word with the evil for you. That's the kind of stone cold murdering we need at the company. All right, thanks, I guess. I'm going to activate the monolith and I'm going to kill us all, peep. And all you can do is colon frowny face five times. Bonk. What are these crystals? What the hell's Peep doing? I'm gonna hit the button. Ah! Oh. A cog. That's the last one I need. Maybe I fuck off and I don't even talk to the freaking monolith. Yeah, chat, what if we just don't talk to it? Because I think that might be like a secret ending. So maybe we go activate the door first and get the Peep good ending, where Peep probably doesn't die. All right, Peep, let's get the hell out of here before Boss, who is also God, comes and fucking kills us. You know, I really thought that was going to be more dramatic, but I guess it was just as easy as opening a door. I can't believe it! We're free of the boss's office! You're my hero! It's all in a day's work or something like that. Well, all right then, I guess that's it. Wow, we can go home. Brilliant. Okay, bye. Bye, Peep. Orbo, you are wanted in human resources for important meeting. Please enter at earliest convenience. Oh no, 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 wait, 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 wait. I'm going back inside. Does anyone other than Orbo and Peep work here? No, which means literally Peep reported me to HR for something. What about Bunston Scone? What about Bunston Scone? Welcome, user Orbo. You have been called to HR to discuss usage of stapler. Usage of stapler, returned error. Stapler not found. Define stapler location. Are you kidding me? You called me here just about talk about stapler? User Orbo, observed as mood angry. Clarify state. Oh, I'll clarify, all right. I've been locked in the boss's office for the past five hours collecting random gears because the door opener broke and newsflash, I don't have arms. But user has arm. Arm, material, exoferrous alloy, illegal operation detected, jurisdiction validated, begin tri trial, requesting justification for operation. What, you're gonna arrest me? If I hadn't made the arm, I would've been locked in that office for ages. The boss is never around. Why can't you just take the arm back and let this go? The fact the door opener wasn't being maintained is a workplace safety violation. I could sue you. Justification invalid, pending user lawsuit invalid, subject, exoferrous arm cannot be salvaged, metals are too unstable for disassembly. Jurisdiction finalized. User Orbo will be fined one billion three hundred million dollars for new prosthetic arm. No, I'm not paying that. I couldn't make that much money in a thousand lifetimes. Go screw yourself. Go screw self. User Orbo resisting jurisdiction. Enter policy code override sequence ballast gangway submachine policy update restrictions disengage fault line fault line fault line fault line fault line. 
Policy finalized. Directive attitude adjustment of user Orbo. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, so that's why we have a health bar. Ah! Oh. Oh. Reveal your... Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. I got him. Boom, idiot. Go to fucking hell. Oh, shit. All right. Piece of cake. Die. Die. Is this it? Is this my final blast? See you later, HR. Goodbye, world. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. I hope Orbo's okay. That explosion must have been him. Bro. Hey, peeps. Sorry I was late. Arbo, you're okay. What happened? I got into a disagreement with HR. I think I'm probably going to just quit my job today. Well, if it means anything, I'm quitting too. I hate this job. Smile, 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 smile. Oh, that's good. So, uh, what do you think you're going to do now? I decided I'm going to be an adventurer. There's all sorts of places I've never been before. Could be fun. What about you, Orbo? What are you going to do now? You know, I haven't really thought about that. Oh, oh, I know, I know. You can come with me. We can go on adventure. We can go adventure the world together. Yeah, I think it'd be fun. You know what? Screw it. Let's go, man. I think there could be a lot in store for us out there. Yes! Let's go. Let's go right now. Aw. Today might have sucked, but you can't deny that it truly was an Orbo's Odyssey. Bro. We're gonna immediately go to the peep game and I'm gonna do permadeath peep. If he fucking dies, he's dead canonically in everything forever, as far as I'm concerned. Nice. Checkpoint obtained. One banana, two bananas, three bananas. Peep, you have three bananas. Please feed me with E. Okay. Great work, Peeb. Only 997 more to go. Peeb's adventure goes hard. Peeb's adventure go, goes fucking hard. Ah. Hang on. Ah. Now this is a peep style adventure chat. Nothing but matching shapes. Boom, dude. Peep is having a good time. That is as long as he doesn't get fucking cut in half. Damn, guys. Peep goes freaking hard. Falling does not count as a death. I refuse to accept it. Not like I'm gonna anyways, dude. Peep moment. Oh my god, gamer. Holy crap. I dude, I'm peeping hard right now. Whoa, oh no. Oh no. This is bad. This is bad. This is about the worst way this could play out. Oh. Oh shit. No, I can make this work. The, the fucking force of this thing. Easy now. Your adventure cannot end here! Ha Got it. Solved it. Come on, people. Let's get you the fuck out of here before something goes wrong. I don't like that. Jesus, peep. Is this really the kind of adventure you fucking wanted? Oh, no. Peep's getting good. Ah! It's fine. That doesn't count as a death. We didn't see peep explode. Peep's dead. He never impressed P. You can't. Boner. Boner. All right, peeps ruined for me.